So how good can a simple rig for astrophotography actually be? Well, to start things off, here's an example. This is one of my images of Orion taken with the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens mounted on a Sony a7 IV. Now the camera might be a little more expensive, but the rig is still simple. Meaning no tracker, you know, no extra stuff. I didn't even have a dew heater on it. Nothing. The only thing I had on it was an intervalometer, which is like 20 bucks. So it's considered really just a simple rig. Here's another example that's even better. This is the Milky Way image taken with the same exact setup at a dark sky site. Now this one did have a tracker, but it's also a very zoomed out image, so it'd be really easy to do without a tracker. Now what I recommend doing if you have an extremely simple rig is definitely going to a dark sky site. I mentioned this in other videos, but it's a really crucial thing for simple rigs. Like if you have a more expensive ring you could probably do it at home really easily because you know you have all this other tools to block out light pollution and everything um but if you're doing it from a dark sky site it's much easier with a simple rig because you don't really have anything like extra complicated if that makes sense another thing if you have a really simple rig is make sure to take as much data as possible this will really help ensure that the data you get is nice and clean but i will say this orion image i took was actually not very much data this is only like maybe a couple minutes of data at most and it was taken with like maybe three seconds of exposure time for each image. Now I would do more zoomed in images, but I don't currently have a lens that can zoom past 75 millimeters. Another thing I'd recommend is make sure you have a good set of processing skills. Um, processing is one of the most crucial parts because this can determine whether your images turns great or it turns out like crap. So I've noticed in my old processing ways, they used to be really, really, really bad. And then when I eventually got to really good processing ways, you know, it was a huge difference. Also, um, processing software isn't a huge role. I mean, Pixelite and Photoshop kind of are a lot different, but in my experience, I can do a lot of the things with Photoshop I can do with Pixelite. It just depends on how you want to do them, how easy you want them to be. So actually, it's pretty easy to do it in Photoshop, but in Pixelite, there's a little more hard work, but you sort of get better results. But it, uh, it's still, definitely, if you're definitely a beginner, I recommend going to Photoshop first, just to learn the basics, because it's a lot easier than Pixelite will be. But yes, processing is really crucial. You must have good processing skills in order, especially for a simple rig, because simple rigs, you know, they're not gonna have as great instant results. They'll have really good, like, later on results. I mean, I'm talking if you're in a light fluid, so maybe for like in a uh, um, dark sky site, it might be really easy to get straight off the bat great images. But if you're in like a really, you know, light fluted area, it's not gonna be great off the bat. So you're gonna have to stack and everything and then process your images. So take a lot of data and then process your images as well. One pro to having a simple setup is that you don't have to set up like all this stuff and make sure everything is pulled aligned correctly. You don't have to, you know, like make sure your auto guiding set is set correctly and everything, all the parameters or whatever. It's actually really easy with a simple rig. It doesn't take forever. You could just instantly go outside and start taking photos. That's the beauty of a simple rig. Oh, by the way, my name is Asher and I'm into astrophotography and I make videos all about it on this channel. If you like my kind of content, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with the new releases on my channel. And if you're really interested in watching more about how good a simple rig can be, well here is an example for planetary. An 8-inch telescope has more potential than you think, because it really does.